Coach, could you uh, give us your summation of practice today? What? That was a summation. It was good. I thought our guys had a better day today. I thought we were just okay yesterday watching the tape just with the rain and, you know, the big win and, and the day off. And, you know, we're getting <laughs> close to the end of the semester. And, uh, you know, so I, I thought our guys were better today. Seems everybody's real loose. Uh, I hope so. I hope that they're going loose. I, I want guys to be loose and confident. Now, when, when we practice and when we spot the ball and the whistle blows, then we got to have attention to detail. I mean, we. I don't want to fear this game. I want to go into it confident. I want to go into it loose. Uh, that doesn't mean practice is, uh, you know, do whatever you want and jack around. We didn't have that today. So I'm fine with guys having fun and being around each other. And they like being around each other. And this team likes being around each other. So no problem there. Coach, talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges that you're expecting from Western Kentucky. Well, they're really good. You know, it's within itself. We've talked about it a lot. Really good on offense, really good on defense, really well coached. You get to this point in the year, if you're still playing for a championship, there's only eight games this weekend that are for a championship in Division I football. Two leagues don't play a championship. That's 16 teams. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty awesome that we're, where we're at. So. Embrace it, man. Get excited about it. I mean, we're one of those teams that everybody that's out recruiting wishes they had that opportunity. We happen to be one of them. Because it was about a month ago, I asked you about Cornell Armstrong right out here. You talked about how he needs to get more physical. Fast forward to Louisiana Tech on the onside kick. Looked like he's responded to your, uh, to your, I guess, directives. He's getting better. I mean, he's still a young player. It's just his second year. Didn't redshirt was forced into action, got a chance to be a really good player. And, um, you know, it's about developing all of your skill set. He, he can run, he can cover, he's a great kid, he's smart. Now how do we develop it to where, you know, you continue to improve your physicality? As much as West Kentucky throws it, do you expect to see uh, guys like Pawpaw and Jaboy to see more action? Uh, I don't know about that. You know, they'll throw it out of their, their tight down sets. They're good at running it and play action. It's not like they're spread like Louisiana Tech. That's a little bit, you know, misleading how often they throw it. They do throw it, and they average a lot per attempt. That's probably it. I mean, it's not like they're throwing it an exorbitant amount of more than somebody else. They're just averaging more per attempt and per completion. So it's run, play, action. It's don't spread you out. It's all the above. So, you know, if they. Uh, you know, if it's spread, then we'll see more of it. Coach, you keep crediting this team, and your whole staff keeps crediting this team as a focus team and a mature team. But how much would you attribute your success to just mental and then actual physical and mental talent? It's all the above. I mean, we've got better players. We've developed better as a team, including me. And we're doing it better X's and O's. So it's, uh, you know, that's all the above. It's, uh, it's It takes more than just having talent. It takes more than just having good people. It takes more than just having... You know, good X's and O's, it's all of it together. Three weeks later. Thanks, Coach.